Bonjour, mes amis. Uh, Mr. O'Neill from Mr. O'Neill's Art Class coming to you again. And I am donning my beret again today because we are going to do another video involving from uh, an artwork kind of inspired by the country of France. And um, we are going to be working with a favorite material that has been come to since we've been home on the distance learning, le pap papier de toilette. Or, more specifically, toilet paper rolls. Just the rolls this time. Um, and we're going to be doing a really cool project that is reminiscent of Notre Dame. No Notre Dame is a big fancy cathedral in Paris, France, and it's actually Notre Dame de Paris. There are a lot of cathedrals called Notre Dame, which means like Our Lady, but Notre Dame de Paris is the one that people think about um, most of the time when So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take our toilet paper rolls and we are going to take some, either some packing tape and you can take that packing tape and the hardest part about using packing tape is of course finding the end of the packing tape is finding where you can pull it apart right there. And the second hardest thing about packing tape is of course tearing it or getting a piece of it off. So we're gonna go ahead and cut that right there. Try and keep it as nice as you can. Does not mat, oops, sorry. Hit the little stand. Is take that packing tape and straight, keep it stretched as tight as you can and put it right over top of your tube and kind of smush it down over all the sides, get it going. You may need to go ahead and take a second layer of tape because it's not quite wide enough. And take a second layer of tape, cut it, and go the opposite direction. We're gonna go, we went that way this time. We're gonna go put a second layer, keep it as smooth as we can, and smush it down. Now, this is one way to do it, and you've got a nice flat surface there. Another way that I found out works even better is if you take something like the toilet paper wrapping, the wrapping that comes on it, the, the plastic that holds it around, and you can take and you can cut out a section of it, just a clear section, one that doesn't have any graphics or anything on it. Take that section and you can cut it out just kind of a squarish, squarish piece like this. Then you can just take your tube, lay the clear section right over top and take a hair tie and go ahead and take that hair tie and kind of let it slide on there and hold it nice and tight. So now that we have our um, toilet paper tubes covered, we've got this nice little clear area on here. And we're gonna go ahead and take some Sharpies and we're gonna go ahead and start like putting designs on them. You can put something relatively simple on here. You can just put kind of a silhouette. Remember a silhouette's just kind of a black outline if you wanted to. Just any kind of shape that you want to make. I'm going to make some kind of, I don't know, bird, dinosaur kind of deal here. Just a very simple shape. And color it in really thickly. You're going to want to hold it up against kind of like a white piece of paper so you see it. And once you've got that done once, Take, let it dry a little bit and then make a second coat. Go over it again with your same marker. Make it even darker. 
And if you want to add another color to it, you completely can. You can make this as simple as you want. You can make it as complicated as you want. I'm gonna go ahead, you know, maybe add an orange. You can see how it's starting to say. Smooth that in. You'll wanna wait for it to dry and you'll wanna do that again. Color over it. You gotta be patient because a lot of times this um, plastic wants to wrinkle, it wants to come off, it wants to slide back down in there. So get it on nice and just color a couple of times. Now, that was a simple one. You can, of course, go way more complicated than that and you can start to emulate the rose window. That's why we're talking about Notre Dame. Um, is a rose window right there in the front is it's made up of this tracery, this kind of stonework that the stained glass, the colored glass fits in. And it's kind of in the shape of a rose. It's in the shape of a flower. So I'm gonna put some petals on it right here. And it's gonna go all the way around and it's gonna be symmetrical as I can get it, which is the same all the way around. This would be radial symmetry when it's the same all the way around. And then I'll just kind of go out from there, put some pieces out every time in between the flowers. See where we're going with this? And then maybe I'll put some other pieces that go in there. I'll put a V everywhere where it's a, a flower petal. And these designs can be whatever designs you want. Like I said, is I'm just kind of making them look a little bit like that rose window that on Notre Dame de Paris, which did, I think most of it, at least some of them, did survive the fire. So that's a cool thing. So we'll take this, we've got that color, and we can start coloring them in. We can start adding color to those. And I'm not gonna waste all of your time um, showing you exactly what I'm doing with those, but I'm just gonna just go ahead and color and make those shapes nice and filled in. Like I said, when you're taking your time doing this, wait till it dries, go back and give it another nice layer so you get it in there. And voila, now you have your colored plastic on here. So now the hardest part of what we're gonna have to do is to use our mini little rose window flashlights or whatever. We're gonna have to wait until it gets dark. That's gonna be the hardest part of it, is waiting all day until it gets dark. What? Nope, wait, I forgot. Mr. O'Neill is magic. We don't have to wait till it gets dark. We can do it right now. And snap, the job's a game. And magically it is automatically dark. So once it is, completely dark outside or dark in your room, you can just use an ordinary flashlight <laughs> to take your toilet paper tube creations and you can use that to put in there and you can shine those creations up onto your blank wall. Or if you wanna go a little bit brighter, you can use your phone, the light on your phone, and here's what we have when we project our little eagle bird thing. You can go right ahead to your rose window and you get that kind of rose window again like we talked to, about in Notre Dame. I have two of those that I made. Here's the other one that we made live in the videos. So you've got that rose window. You can even use this to go ahead and send yourself secret messages just like this, because we do all miss you and want you to stay safe. Or there's always using your toilet paper tubes and if you are in trouble and if you need help, you can call Batman. So here's the two things I want you to remember from today's lesson. Please remember all about the rose window from Notre Dame to Perry and Notre Notre Dame will be reconstructed, um, hopefully within five years is the plan for the French government. So remember Notre Dame de Paris and remember, I'm back.